Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, everyone in between, to tonight's stream. With me, Ami Iridakago, playing Uncharted 4, A Thief's End, tonight. Now I know what you're thinking. Why are we suddenly jumping straight into the fourth game when I haven't actually played any of the first three games on here yet? Because I want to. <laughs> I mean, I myself have, of course, played the first three games and... Well, I recently picked up the fourth and wanted to jump right into it, so I figured I might as well stream it. And Uncharted isn't the most story-heavy kind of series anyway, so I will... Hey. If you haven't played or followed any of the previous games, then you probably won't have much trouble getting into it anyway. But yeah. How are you all doing tonight? I see Flitchard in the chat, as usual. <clears throat> I myself am doing, well, just as well as last time. Still been uh, futzing away at my compact PC. Ordered a new graphics card, a uh, GeForce 4, which should hopefully give me a bit more uh, graphical power. Although, the trouble with that, as I've learned, is that it also requires a pretty hefty power supply, at least heftier than what's currently in my uh, PC, because what's in there right now is 145 watts and I need at least 250, but I know a guy who might be able to help me with that, so to be continued. I'm sure I'll figure it out either way. Aside from that, playing a bit of Techno Babylon with the uh, commentary on, second time through. Very good game, highly recommend it. If you're into adventure games or Wadjedi games and cyberpunk and all that. Oh, and of course, last night I went to see the new X-Men movie, X-Men Apocalypse, which was alright. Definitely didn't live up to uh, Days of Future Past or First Class, for that matter, which were both really good, uh, you know, return to form after a couple of the previous movies uh, turned out to be a bit disappointing. But this one, yeah. It was lacking a few things. Primarily, well, the main villain isn't really all that interesting or intimidating. He's merely just kind of there to show off, uh, you know, oh, look at how insanely powerful he is and he wants to destroy the world and wipe the slate clean from mutant kind and all that. But beside from, aside from that, he doesn't have a whole lot of motivation or character. Some referred to Apocalypse as Ivan Ooze's Egyptian cousin. Yeah, I've heard a lot of that, Flitchard. I didn't think the costume or anything was that bad, or the acting for that matter. It's just he didn't have a whole lot to work with. And there were a bunch of predictable plot points uh, like that. Like Magneto goes back to being a bad guy again, but you know he's going to turn around by the end and stuff like that. But uh, still cool to see a bunch of uh, recognizable characters. We finally got Nightcrawler back. Uh, Wolverine is pretty much absent from most of the movie, except in one memorable scene. Uh, anything else? Well, obviously plenty of good action, plenty of good laughs. Uh, good effects. Some pretty uh, spectacular moments, obviously, since we're dealing with Apocalypse and all that. Yeah, I get, I get that he probably isn't that complicated, but we needed a bit more than uh, what was shown in this movie, especially because he doesn't really... He, well, if he wanted to go about taking over the world, he could have probably done it a bit smarter, been a bit smarter about it. But yeah, still had a good time all the same. If you're an X-Men fan, you won't uh, have a bad time watching it, I reckon. You know, I like the movies. So uh, I enjoyed it. Oh, and of course, uh, I could have forget, Quicksilver is in and he has a uh, larger role from the last movie. And he steals the show just as before. And he actually does get some good uh, character development in this, so I was happy about that.
Uh, have I been doing anything else recently? Uh, I really, really, really need to get back into the, the, working on my game in AGS. Really have not been spending a lot of time with that. There's still a lot to do, obviously. I've mostly just uh, managed to fit together the first few rooms, make the, char make the main character walk around in that. But, uh, yeah. That's just the tip of the iceberg, obviously. Well, Steven Universe, finally, I came back last, last week? Or was it the week before that? Well, either way, we've had a bunch of new episodes since then, and... Uh... I didn't realize I missed the show as much uh, as I did until now. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the encouragement, Norwegians. Definitely eager to learn. So, yeah, that's pretty much all that's been going on lately. So, how's about we uh, dive right into the game then? See what this little adventure is going to entail. Okay. You should be able to see see and hear the uh, PlayStation 4 main menu right now. Right, now. Uh, right, I need to switch my screen over to the HDMI so I can actually see what's happening in real time. Yep, working. Let's fire it up. I already went through the trouble of uh, downloading the latest update for this, which took well over four hours with a wi with a wired connection. Yeah, I can understand that, Norwegians, especially since uh, you haven't played any of the previous games, I reckon. But yeah, one day. Uh, shit. I forgot to move the video capture device out of the way of the chat, but that's all right now. And we greet it with the greet it with the skeleton of Captain Jack Sparrow. Lovely. Uh, I think I already set most of the controls back when I first started up the game after updating it. Challenge level. Let's put it on light. Explorer seems a bit too far down the spectrum of difficulty. Subtitles are on, game hints, NPC, blah blah blah. Camera controls. Well, you can always adjust it if necessary. Brightness seems okay. Volumes, yeah. Game's pretty detailed about uh, every little deep about every little option that it lets you adjust, which is good. One nice thing I noticed, uh, you can, for QTEs, you can set whether you have to tap the button repeatedly or just hold it down. So, you know, people who are less uh, accomplished at QTEs have a bit of an advantage there. And hey, I find it more convenient to just hold it down myself, so I've set it up that way. Anyway, enough chatter. Let's do this. Uh, lock on aim. Camera assist vehicle. Ah, we'll see. Oh. Gotta save some new game data first. Now, let's begin. Hmm. Gold coin with a skull on it? This is really starting to get Pirates of the Caribbean-esque. I am a man of fortune. 
and I must seek my fortune. Henry Avery, Avery, 1694. Holy crap, this isn't a cutscene, this is real. <laughs> well, I know this is on PS4 and all, but that's a pretty big leap in graphical quantity. How's the volume, by the way? Hit the water brakes! <laughs> So yeah, Nate Drake doing what he does best, yelling and driving vehicles in harrowing situations. Volume's fine, alright. Right now I'm just steering the boat while the other guy's doing all the shooting. Well, I can ram the other boats, that seems to work. Oh! Oh boy. Quiet for you? Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, I reckon that was meant to happen. Yeah, the second game pretty much started that way, too. Ah, now we're getting to the shooty bits. Uh, let's see. No, 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 that's not the reload button. <laughs> Got him. Not sure I like the lock on though. I think I'm gonna turn that off. Uh, let me just find that real quick. Lock on, aim, off. Want a bit of a challenge, of course. Don't want the game that hold my hand with everything. Oh. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa! Don't stand up there. Got to stay in cover. Gladly. Ow, 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 ow. I don't think I did, Flitchert. Oh, shit. Oh. Thought it was gonna crash there. <laughs> Where are we anyway? Are we going to Skull Island? Meet King Kong? Whoa! Big boat back with a vengeance. Nathan. Ooh, flashback.
You must be tired of these lectures. I know I'm tired of giving them. And now you have to stay here with me all weekend instead of going on the retreat with everyone else? I don't care. Yes, that is the crux. Ah, uh, Monkey Island would be awesome, Fletcher. I don't see why I'm the only one being punished. Because you started the fight. You wouldn't give me back my book. I told you to leave those books in your room. You only have yourself to blame. It doesn't give him the right to just snatch it from me. Does that give you the right to start throwing punches? It wasn't just about the book. What was it then? Nothing. I'll save it for confession. seem insistent on going down the same sad road as your brother. Huh. Nate's brother, who up until this point has never been mentioned before, as I recall. Suppose that was the guy we were on the boat with. Okay, there is a bit of a discernible difference between cutscenes and gameplay, but still. Chapter 1, The Lure, Adv Lure of Adventure. Okay. Thanks for stopping by, Norwegians. Till next time. So we're starting off with the kid Nate uh, flashback again, like we did in we Uncharted Three. Or well, so didn't start out with that, but there were a bunch of those in that game. Getting the hang of the platforming and all that. Oh, I certainly will, Norwegians. You have a good time doing uh, whatever you're doing. Keep me posted on your uh, end of the game dev stuff. Yeah. Okay, nice and quiet. Bum bum ba da dum. Bum bum ba da dum. Ooh, nice shiny lamp. Of course, keeping an eye out for any hidden treasures we might come across. Not that I care about achievements or anything, but you know, I just like finding shinies. And or potential Easter eggs. Like I remember the earlier games, you could find a precursor artifact from Jack and Daxter. Isn't it our job to help boys like him? In the meantime, I'm neglecting the other dozen boys under my care. <sighs> what do you want me to do? You know my opinion. I'm not ready to give up on him yet. You can't keep avoiding it. Look, I'll talk to him in the morning. Okay? Good night, Father. Good night, Sister Catherine. <laughs> Why do I have the... <clears throat> Why do I feel like we're going to have to pop out of cover and sneak up on her to snap her neck or something? <laughs> Why is that my first instinct? Oh, I've been playing too many stealth games. Whoa. It's my file. Mm. Mm. I caught a glimpse of Edward waving one of Nathan's book around, teasing the young boy. Nathan immediately leapt on Edward, knocking the larger boy down. I ran over to separate the boys, but not before they'd managed to pummel each other. Administrative signature, Father Ryan Duffy. That's it then. Suspended for four days. Huh. Kid was a handful. Well, he's a handful as an adult too, so not much has changed. Uh, nothing else in here? Nah. 
didn't think so. Damn it. Language. Okay, that's how I, yeah, I can. <clears throat> oh, whoa, 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 I didn't see the nun there. One. Move it, sister. Hey! <laughs> Don't pop out of cover just yet. Is she gonna stand there or is she gonna keep moving around? Hmm. Sister Catherine? Oh, there she goes. Oh, Sister Catherine. I forgot my keys again. Can you open the gate for me? Come in, Father. was kind of a weak jump, but I guess he doesn't have the same jumping abilities as a kid that he does as an adult. Almost there. <sighs> Why is it that he always tends to climb onto drain pipes that are on the verge of breaking? Sam? Well, those things obviously aren't meant to hold that much weight. you back. <laughs> All right. Hey, it's good to see you, little brother. What was that? Uh, really? Again? It's nothing. You told me you'd stay out of trouble, though. He was talking shit about us. So? He said that Dad dumped us here because we're worthless, and Mom is in hell because... Nathan, Nathan, come on. They're just saying it because it gets to you. All right? We just gotta learn to laugh it off. You wouldn't. <laughs> Good advice. No catch cold. So, what are you doing here like this anyway? If the nuns catch you, they're gonna call the cops. Well, I got something for you. They couldn't wait till Christmas. What? It's outside. What happened to us staying out of trouble? Uh, this is an exception. Mm -hmm. I got a feeling I know where this is going. Also. Also, I think Sam is wearing the same shirt that Nate wore as a kid in the third game. Profit. I, I, I did. At least I thought I did. No, it doesn't matter. We're gonna take the high road. The high road? Just follow me. Watch. Whoa, yes. fancy. Oh. And now, we take the high road. Have you done this before? Uh, once or twice. Come on. Your time. I rode away. Uh, 
do I climb up? Or do I have to, oh, shimmy out onto the pipe. Gotcha. So, what you been up to? Working mostly. You still dating that girl? Oh, uh, Crystal? Uh, on again, off again. Currently, off again. What a play, yeah. Uh, over the wall, Nate. My mind. Okie dokie. towards goal there's a jump coming up okay so where are we going again Pretty sure we're not supposed to be doing any of this, so yeah. Yeehaw. fun otherwise. It's a nice view, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. You ever been up here before? This particular room? No. But you do know where you're going, right? Uh, more or less. <clears throat> you wait here and watch me. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Just don't overthink it. Oh, crap! Oh. Thought I might have jumped a bit too soon. I did it. Of course you did. Gonna get the rope back. All right. After you. Well, guess he isn't. Uh, what's he hanging around for? We going down? Oh. Okay. Just 
like that, we're out. All right. Check it out. Huh? Whoa, <laughs> you got the 250? 250? What are you talking about? No, this is the 500 CC twin. No way. Yeah. Where'd you lift it from? Whoa. That's a low blow. But hey, I'll have you know that I am a changed man. Bought this with hard-earned cash. Here, come on, take a seat. What? The only time you pull a stunt like this is when you're trying to make up for something. You are too smart for your own good, you know that? All right. I got this job. Pays well. Really well. But, uh, gotta leave town for a little bit. What's a little bit? Here, at the most, and then I'll be back before you even know it, all right? You're bailing on me. Oh, come on, don't be so dramatic. What, so it wasn't bad enough to leave me in that place? How could you do this to me, Sam? Hey, wait, I'm doing this for you. The money I make is for the both of us. And then in a couple of years, a when you're out... years? Take me with you. I can barely support myself. I'll pitch in. I know you think the orphanage sucks. You have no idea. It's the best thing for you right now. All right? You just gotta trust me on that one. It's not fair. Hmm. Nothing about our lives has been fair. But we've made it work. Right? Sure. Well, you know, the bike wasn't the only surprise. And I guess I'm gonna have to ruin the next one. What? I found Mom's stuff. Everything that Dad sold, I tracked down the buyer. If you're saying this just to make me feel better... Yeah, I swear to God. Where? Yeah. On the other side of town. What do you say we go and get it back? You mean steal it? Uh, it's not stealing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the cops aren't going to see it that way. Well, then let's not get caught. You ready for this? Hell yeah. Those two make a wonderful pair. Meanwhile, back in the present. Esto va a estar más fácil de lo que esperaba, eh? We're gonna have to do better than that. Acabemos con esto. Let's go. Time for a little brawling. Kind of getting my ass handed to me, but... Get back into the swing of things. Oh. Yeah, it seems that way, Fletcher. But this is about how well I do in these kind of fist fights, anyway. <laughs> Always the wise ass. So what now? The electric chair? Come on. How long am I supposed to be in here? Huh? Where's the toilet? You looking at it? Have fun. I will. Gracias. Wow. 
At least in Turkey, he got his own bucket. Yeah, I got the gist of it, Flitch. No need to interpret or anything. Get up. I was having a great dream, too. Hey, hey, hey. All right, easy. Ah. All right, calmate. Infernal place. Yeah, any chance I can take a shower? Morning, boys. Or is it the evening? It's hard to tell down here. Oh, idiota! Get up the stairs. Viene saliendo un prisionero. Abran las rejas. So, what's Nate done to get himself in this predicament? Well. Probably much of the usual. Doing stuff he shouldn't. Have. Right. Humid. Huh. Welcome to Panama. Hey, gringo. Vi lo que hiciste a Gustavo. Tengo un cuchillo que tiene tu nombre, amigo. Hey, Varga. Cuando regrese, déjanoslo a nosotros. Nos encargamos de él. Muévanse. Quítense, cabrones. Hey, hey. Tranquilízate. Looks like you have some fans. Yeah, my adoring public. Hi. <laughs> Was hoping he'd try something like that. Abre la reja. A dónde lo llevas? Es una sorpresa. Una sorpresa for me. You speak a little Spanish, you know. Wait, what did you say? You'll find out soon enough. Te la advertí. Lo escuchaste. Of course, we couldn't go to a nice person. We had to end up in a shithole like this. Hang in there, buddy. Thank you. Where are you taking me anyway? You'll see. No, no. Not that way. Oh, big scary wooden door. Even further down. After you. I do not like where this is going. Yeah, this isn't sketchy at all. Hey, you know, this doesn't look like the warden's office. Through there. Through here? Oh. Well, this doesn't look like a torture dungeon, at least. All right. Okay, take these cuffs off or what? I want in. In? Whatever you hope to find up there, I want in. <laughs> Come on, Marcus. The deal was just to get us in and out of here. That's it. Just? I'm sticking my neck out for you, gringos. Yeah, and Rafe is paying you a lot of money for your trouble. See? <laughs> but not nearly enough. You were told not to open that. Yes. I was also told not to take bribes, not to bring anyone here, and not to beat on my inmates. But here we are. Right, just be careful with that. It's 300 years old. I was a member of Captain Henry Avery's crew. You know who that is? He was a pirate. The pirate who pulled off the biggest heist in history and got away with it. I looked him up. It's great. Over Can 400 we... million dollars worth of gold and jewels, all from one single ship. The, the Gunsway. Familiar with the story. Can you get to the point? Uh 
Uh-huh. I occupied the highest cell in the Spaniards prison. <laughs> Here. I hope someday you will find your way into this infernal place. Bear my cross and discover the riches of paradise. What? What do you want? The riches of paradise. It's a metaphor. No, 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 no. You and your friends did not pay to get into this infernal place in search of a metaphor. I want in. Guys, I'll tell you what. Let me go up there, check out the prison cell. If there's still anything there after 300 years, we can take this up with Rafe. Come on. Letter. Por favor. How are you going to get up there, anyways? Climb. Oh, unless, of course, you want to do it, since you're not <laughs> going in at all. Just don't break your neck. That's the plan. I probably will, once or twice. Hey, did you bring what I asked? Yeah. Get it just over there. Under the work table. Uh, by the crates. <sighs> Alright. This is where the... Oh, fun begins. Uh, let's not go that way. <laughs> I reckon I'm supposed to slide down and grab the ledge over there. Kill yourself right in front of him just for fun. Let's wait a little bit for that, shall we? <laughs> there we go, piece of cake. You should never say that, Nate. You should know better than that by now. Okay, what did he leave here for me? Oh. Bingo. Now we're in business. All right, this should do the trick. Uh, hang on a second. I want to see what's up here. Uh, okay, I can't get up there. That's kind of lame. Well, that seems like the obvious place to go next. There's the prison cell. How do I get up there? No ruins explorer should be without a bullwhip, except it was a grappling hook and rope flitchered. Here we go. Cool. Interesting new gameplay mechanic. Up or down? My money's on up. <laughs> Not quite like that. Once again, keeping my uh, eye out for shinies. Oh. Okay. First death. Parkour semi extreme. Oh, <laughs> fell for it again. Okay, so we're not going down there. It looks like there's a little gap over there that I should be able to stand. Well, that's where I just came from, actually. <laughs> I'm good at this. Yeah. Whoops. Jumped a bit too soon. Number two. Off to a great start here. <laughs> well, just getting into the swing of things. Yeah. Sam hears about this. Yeah, just as the tutorial said, if he reaches out, then you know it's safe to jump. Nice little indicator. Onward and upward.
How about turning the game off before I hit? What are you talking about, Fletchert? Uh, where are we going? I think we just gotta climb up this thing. Do a cannonball. Wild E. Coyote reference. <laughs> now, gotta find the I haven't seen one of those in forever in a day. Uh, over here. Okay, just like that. Once asked the animator if he would end the cartoon before he hit the ground, he did. Ah, I see. I can barely believe this place is still standing. Sounds like a clever little gag. Build a sturdy prison. Wonder how many pirates died here. Was there a point to that? You just need a little light, or oh, I see. <laughs> this isn't like anything he hasn't done before, but yeah, well, suppose this sort of thing never gets old. Oh man, Sam is missing out. Here we go. Burns his cell. Ah. These squiggles and scratches must mean something. Eleven, ten, one, two, five, three, seven. Hmm. First real puzzle of the game. Compass pointing south. Yeah, yeah. That isn't relevant to the current situation, though. So what? Ah. Sun and moon. Alchemy symbols for gold and silver. Wait a sec. I saw something like this on the ladder. Oh. <laughs> Got a bit ahead of myself. Huh. Well, that's part of the symbol. Here's the other half. Now then. That's more like it. Okay, got a zodiac symbol. Sagittarius. Ah. So I gotta look for that thing on the wall. That it? No. Oh. That's not no, okay. 
Uh, yeah. Okay, no, wait. Um, let me see here. Okay, so that arrow thing is 10. So I need to find the 10. It's right over here. If Nate would just focus on it. Nate! Thank you. Nothing. What that letter say again? No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to. This one either. What did the letter say? I have to look at it in reverse, maybe. Hmm. Let's look around. Pointing to the right. No. Is that the only 10 symbol around here? I reckon it must be. Obviously I'm missing something. Well, the other symbol was that. No, the M with the arrow sticking out of it. Sagittarius, I think he said it was. Yeah. Scorpio, sign. And a Roman Scorpio, whatever. I'm no good with constellations. Here's a number two. Roman numeral two. No? Hmm. Well, where's that now that's Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Roman Sagittarius. numeral ten. Roman numeral ten. Yeah, we just checked that out. Didn't work. <laughs> kind of distracted by his hand here. Put in a lot of detail there. Dirt under his fingernails. Ew. Uh. Well, I don't really see any pertinent clue. Hmm. Well, I'm sure this is probably a lot, a lot easier than it seems right now. I'm just overthinking it or something. Right. So we got this thing, number ten. There's a compass pointing south here. Does that have any significance? Roman numeral two. Is there another two somewhere? Hey guys, oh hang on, here's another Roman numeral two. That's not it either. Did I miss something on the left? Ah. Uh. Sagittarius. Roman numeral 10. Missed something on the letter. What's there to see about the letter? I can flip it. Uh, let me zoom in a little. Hmm, is it supposed to maybe look different now? What does it look like when I flip it? It kind of looks like it's pointing north. Is it supposed to look... Wait a minute, wait a minute. We got these little squiggles over here. Eleven. Are there any other, what, what do the other symbols look like? Fuck it, let's try and find the eleven. Maybe that's the... 
Maybe that's it. <laughs> it would be silly if this little puzzle right at the beginning would already stump me, but... Well, it, I guess they certainly stepped up their game from the previous uh, games. Well, there's no 11 on the walls anymore, so that can't be it. I could probably brute force this, but... Or do I have to do this in a specific order? Wait, 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 wait. If I flip it around... Does that mean I have to do it in that order? So first the M thing and then the arrow? Well... No, I don't think so. If I... If that were the case, I would have uh, figured it out if I pulled it two just now. Or... Well, there were... There's two twos. Okay, no, he won't pull the two anymore because he already know that isn't the one. Okay, so I need to focus on something else. Eh, not just yet, game. <laughs> Is this supposed to look like a Roman numeral or something? I can't quite see it. Okay, fuck it. The clues combined together equal twelve. Gah! It was that simple the whole time. Uh... Ten and two, X and I I. Whatever. God, now I feel stupid. <laughs> Shiny. You're going to tell us what that means? I'm not up on my Latin. Oh, good in you, Fletcher. <laughs> Okay, so how do we get out of here now? Window looks a bit too high. Gotta watch that first step. Yeah, don't wanna end up like Roger Wilco. Oh, it wasn't that big of big of a drop. That worked out, fortunately. Careful. Yo. <laughs> I don't think I should be standing here for too long. Vargas. I want a gut. I want in. 
<laughs> I heard that, Nate. He must be getting old. He's never complained about his shoulder before. Okay. Just swing over there. Just like that. And now we've lost a rope. Oh well. Guess we won't need it anymore. And uh, can't climb over there, but there are two convenient, well, a bunch of convenient cuts in this wall. Now we're talking. Hi. Find Greg. What? Place was picked clean. There's a clue hidden up there somewhere. I couldn't find it. Are you sure? Were you looking in the right place? Maybe I just <coughs> missed. I sure did. <laughs> Could have been another tower that collapsed centuries ago. Yeah. There are any plants at this place? You know, like blueprints. Could be. There's a bunch of old files. Okay, great, great. Go look through those, okay? See what you can dig up. Meanwhile, I'll, I'll talk to Sam. He's our Avery expert. Maybe he can make sense of this whole mess. Right. I'll, I'll look through the files. Yeah. Turn around. Yeah. <laughs> Lying through his teeth. The bastard. Are you done talking to him? Gringo, if I catch you fighting one more time, one week in the hole for you. Tengo que verme. Claro, te vas cuando estás ganando. Para ti, ¿eh? Qué raro, they weren't you. Okay, you're all right. Just another day at the office. Come on. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not gonna keep me in suspense, are you? You were right. No, we were right. <laughs> Just gotta find Rafe. No, and... Rafe. Oh, don't start, please. Oh, come on. Like you said, we did this. You and me. Rich asshole comes in on the tail end. How long have we been trying to get in here? <laughs> we had some leads. No, we didn't. Hey, not one. So, like it or not, no Rafe, no Vargas, and no getting in here. Speaking of Vargas, we got a problem. What kind of problem? Did he let you into the old prison? Yeah, yeah, he did. Fine. After he read the letter. Hmm. So, how much does he know? Enough that he wants a cut. Oh, shit. Rafe, if anybody else finds out about this, I'll work it out with Vargas. Don't sweat it. Right now, let's just let's get on to more important matters. Okay. Let's find somewhere a little more uh, private. Okay. Rafe is so gonna screw us over, isn't he? Just has a shifty look about him. All right, coast is clear. Okay, so what do we got? Hey. May I? Just be careful, okay? How did Vargas not notice he was hiding that? That must have left quite a bulge. Gold and silver inlay. It's well made. It's hollow. <laughs> Why would one of Avery's men go through the trouble of hiding a cheap crucifix? It's not a crucifix. Technically, a crucifix is a representation of Jesus. It's not Jesus. Well, you're right, there's no crown of thorns, he's tied to the cross. Well, it's not Jesus. Read the inscription. Digna factus recipimus. We receive... We receive, we receive the due rewards of our deeds. Yeah. Look at you. That's the benefit of growing up in a Catholic orphanage. That's St. Dismas. Yeah. Penitent thief. What's the connection? 
Guys, let's just pretend I skipped all of Sunday school. <clears throat> okay, uh, during the crucifixion, Jesus is placed between two thieves, okay? One of them mocked Jesus. The other one, this guy, was penitent. Okay? He accepted his punishment with grace, and Jesus brought him to paradise. Penitent thief. Yeah. <laughs> what? You figured it out. There is a cathedral of St. Dismas in Scotland. Scotland! Right, the last sighting of Avery was in Scotland. That can't be a coincidence. No. <laughs> you know, I had my doubts about you, too. Let's find Vargas. Get the hell out of the shithole. I think yes, this is the guy oh dear. to fight with. Uh, didn't know he had so many friends. Te dije que no habíamos terminado. Mira, ya nos ganaste, okay? No tarde para hablar. Aquí no sales. Hey, you know why? Tú no te metas. Okay. Fighty time. Jesus, did you have to pick on the most popular guy in this joint? Uh, I didn't hear you volunteer. Guys, save it for later. I was trying to defend myself from the other guy, but that wasn't necessary, apparently. Yep. Counter. Team up attack, nice. Still a few left. I'm coming. Thanks for the tip. You know, without having to tap to throw each punch, it feels kind of weird doing this. Oh, nice. Oh, dear. Yay, Vargas. Busted. Dejanos. Dejanos. Took you long enough. We almost got killed, you know. We still might. Marcus, seriously? Oh, I didn't find anything. It must be in a different tower. Well, how can I say? I was raised Catholic. I always. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 look. It's worthless, all right? You think I'm an idiot? Okay, you want to renegotiate? Fine, stop acting like a third world thug. Put the gun away. Thank you. We're willing to give you uh, ten percent. <laughs> Think half. We're doing most of the work, twenty, and you'd never find it without us. Twenty-five equals twenty-five. Does that sound fair, guys? Four hundred million divides nicely, but I was about to say it's a shitload of money. Looks like we have a deal. Yes, we have a deal. And if you ever cross me, again, 
Oh dear. Jesus, that's that. Are you out of your goddamn mind? Do you want to find out? Knew there was something screwy about Rafe. Guys, what are we doing here? We're sticking to the plan. Was this part of the plan? Just follow me. Come on. Come on. Well, we're in deep now. But be right back. And I'm back. Let us get on with this. Oh crap. They got guns. <laughs> Why am I running around in here? I should keep following the other guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I get for checking every nook and cranny for goodies. Vargas said the boat is right under the lighthouse. But which way? I don't know. Get outside and figure it out. Get in. Uh, the window. Hurry up. Oh. There, it's open. We got it. Let's go. I don't see the lighthouse. Through here. Watch yourself. Oh, crap. Over there, to the left. I'm going. Stop, drop, and roll. Uh, uh, no, 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 wait. Over here. Come on, come on. Yo. They know what they're doing. Shit! Another dead end. The fire escape. Nathan, get me out there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Boost. Come on, Sam. Ready? And... Let it down. Thank you. Let's go. Yeah, after you. Thanks for cutting in, Rafe, you bastard. Gotta do this the hard way, huh? Nate gets what he deserves. He's gonna leave without us, isn't he? Not if we're quick. Come on. After you. I mean, yeah, I guess he was gonna screw Vargas out of his money, but come on. Ray fucked up here. He had to go and stab the guy. Fine, just keep going. Okay, looks clear. Damn it, this place is like a maze. Yeah, it's like they don't want to leave or something. After this, 
Could have done to put all those convenient handholds on the wall. Not like anyone would ever try climbing out of here. Of course, no one would be stupid enough to do it in full sight of the guards. The armed guards. Uh, yeah, jump, I was about to say. Yay. Whoa. Oh. No, you hold on. Hold on. Give me your other arm. Come on, Reed. No. Shit. We gotta move. Come on, he's still down there. No, he's gone. Come on, the boat's just beyond the wall. No. No, I can't. Can't leave him behind. Nate, your brother is dead. Either come with me or join him. Just have it your way. So, wait. Either the opening scene takes place after this, and Sam survives, or this takes place after the opening scene, and this is where he definitely dies. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not buying it that they'd kill him off this quickly. That seems just a bit too convenient and cheap for drama. Oh wow, all of that was just a prologue. Flashbacks to the events of the previous games. Jackman. Fifteen years later. Malaysia job. Hey, I might watch you down to a quarter tank. You wanna come up? Nah, I'll be fine. Can't be far. If you don't find it soon, I'm calling it. I'll find it. Mmm, right. pretty.
So what are we looking for this time? Well, there's a shiny. I'd say that's a good start. Oh, options. Chiriki Shark Trinket. Huh, nice design. And it looks like I already missed a few treasures before. Or maybe the, those are only available on the hard difficulty? I don't know. Oh, nope. looks like there's something else. Hey, I got something here. What is it? No rust, bright color. Maybe hit the rocks, tore off the whole tumble. Hey, you're mumbling. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it looks like a piece of our wreck. Must be close by. You're teasing me now, Drake. You're teasing me. Hmm. Cargo container. Ah, there you are. I found it. All right. How's it look? Uh, it's beat up, but intact. Chinese. Le La Lachu. Lauhu. Whatever. See the cargo. It's like most of the crates are here. Can you get an accurate count? Yeah, I'm gonna have to go inside for that. Stand by. All right, here we go. Open her up. <laughs> there. Whoa. <laughs> Morning, fellas. All right, I'm in. Well, it looks like. A lot of it's still strapped down. Let's see, we got one, two, three. Okay, by my count, we're shy two crates. I'm gonna go round them up. Hold on. How about you come up first, get a fresh tank? Ah, the crate's gotta be nearby. Ha! Found one. That was easy. Crate's pinned beneath the trailer. Tell you what, secure the other crate first, then we'll lift the trailer up for you. Well, you see, that's why you get paid the big bucks. <laughs> yeah. Crate. Oh, well, the indicator already kind of spoiled it. <laughs> Found the other crate. One down, one to go. Secure it in the trailer. We're nearly at your position. All right, see you soon. So, what's in these things anyway? Well, I suppose we're about to find out. All right, that's one crate secure. Good timing. We're right above you. Sling's on its way down. So, who's this Jameson guy anyway? Coming down. Where's Sully? enough what's it oh no I gotta do it manually right okay that's cool yeah, that's one all right you watch your oxygen now that's fine the way he keeps reminding me about my oxygen makes me kind of worry that something bad's about to happen Okay, trailer secure, ready to go. All right, get clear. We'll lift it up. Ready when you are. And up we go. Okay, is that enough? Yeah, plenty. Just don't drop it on me. <laughs> no promises. Okay, you got the other crate. I'm gonna strap it in with the others. Just put that right there. Come 
Pretty straightforward. There you go. Oh boy. You sure this thing is fastened securely? All cargo present and accounted for. Yeah, with five minutes of oxygen to spare. Jesus. Hey, maybe you should hang out then. See if you can find some other treasures down there. <laughs> nah, I'm good. Wanna ride up? <laughs> Love one. Let me know when you're on the sling. How about now? Okay, I'm in position. Get me out of here, will you? You got it. Going up. Nice view. Hang on. These games certainly deliver on the scenery. Even more so now that it's on PS4. Damn. Job easier, right? Is everyone going to keep pointing out how much oxygen he uses? How'd we do? How do you think? Full recovery? Every last bit. <laughs> Making the rest of us look bad. Making the rest of you look good. Ooh, is that a shiny? That's a shiny. An arcade token? Oh yeah. Priceless treasure right there. Well, it kind of is considering uh, the state of arcades nowadays. <laughs> You let someone else be point man next time. You've earned a break. Oh, no thanks. Take a dive over being at the office any day. Yeah, well, uh, either way, it's gonna be a while to the next dive. What are you talking about? What about Thursday's job? Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, no. Got under bid. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, competition's tough. So, what did we stick out our neck for? To do the honors. Well, if I must. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Wow. Look at that. You struck copper. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd be surprised how much this stuff is worth. Clients paying good money for the full coverage. Sure you don't want to just melt it down, make some pennies? <laughs> Come on, let's go celebrate. First round's on me. Bar hopping with you guys? <laughs> no, no, no. Not unless there's hazard pay. Uh, if it's all the same to you, I think I'm just going to do the paperwork and... Uh, Ouch. A rain check, though? All right. Suit yourself. Hey. Good work. Not exactly priceless treasure either. But I guess he's got to pay the bills. He's falling on hard times. Hey, hey, Nate. Nate, hold on. Hey, what are you 
doing here? I've got a present for you. Present? What's this? I got some news from my contact about that wreck off the coast of Malaysia. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, the ship's intact. Yeah? Cargo's right for the piggin'. You are a persistent one, I'll give you that. And all the money came through for the equipment, too. We are all set. Except, uh, my best guy. The guy I trust for the job, the only one. He, he's got cold feet. My feet were never warm to begin with. You tell me, this contact of yours, did he get the permits? No, he did not get the permits. Can't no one get the damn permits? Of course not. But Nate, don't you see that works in our favor? No permits means no competition. The ship is ours. No permits means no go. <sighs> Nate, this is retirement money for the both of us, okay? I don't know about you, but I don't want to be working salvage when I'm 60. Do you? Sure beats prison. Trust me, so should you. Okay, just take me with you. Humor me. I'm not okay? gonna change my mind. No, oh, then don't hurt to sleep on me. Does it? Say hi to Carla and the kids for me, okay? All right. No pressure, Nate. But think about it. You really did your homework on this one. Area. Would make a hell of a find. Of course he's gonna go for it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> no, no, no way. You are going with the others. He'll come around eventually. A normal life. Big brother, some years. <laughs> Bunch of callbacks to previous games in here, I reckon. Oh, yeah, that's the jacket he wore in Tibet. Near the end of the second game, at any rate. German U-boat in the middle of a jungle. Huh. It was a loading icon for the first game, wasn't it? Ah, the journal. Sir Francis Drake takes a bullet for Sully. Oh. Found this on my old camera. Thought you'd like to have it. E. Thoughtful. A brightly colored bottle. Looks like the kind of thing an elementary school kid would bring with him for lunch. Good old Tenzin. Huh, nice hat. So many men killed each other for a piece of this. Francis and his elaborate puzzles. Yeah. Thing that the whole uh, third game revolved around. Actually, he's not wearing the ring anymore, is he? Huh. Yeah. 
Thanks for nothing, Saint Dismas. That whole thing left on a bitter taste in his mouth, I reckon. I still don't buy that Sam is dead or Sam is dead though. There's a lot of these things lying around everywhere. What's up with that? Now this was a crazy <laughs> ride. Uncharted three. Nate, how's things? I've been up to my usual shenanigans, nothing major, but enough to keep the heat on and the wine stocked. Caught wind of something that sounded right up your alley. Should you ever change your mind, give me a yell. I'm always on hand for a quick getaway. Love, Chloe. Oh, there. Got my, my foot caught in some of the wires. Nothing happened, though. Wouldn't want to ac accidentally disconnect my capture device or anything. Not really my style anymore. Is this a belt buckle? Huh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? We're playing with a Nerf gun now? <laughs> oh, come on. This is this is getting kind of sad. Right. This is playing music from the third game as well, isn't it? <laughs> oh. Nate, please stop. Yeah, bring it. Bullseye. Take that. Yeah. Oh. Be right there. Well, now. It's the first familiar face we've seen in the entire game. Finally shacked up together. Took them long enough. Don't live in a half bad place. Oh, is this what you're working on? Ultimate Traveler Info Guide. The Ultimate Travel Guide to Bangkok, full color maps, local history, walking tours, bus and rail schedules, day trips and longer adventures, hostels, hostels, bars, nightlife. Whether you visited Bangkok before or it's your first time to the capital of Th Thai Thailand, this book will help you navigate everything from common tourist destinations to off the beaten path adventures. Visit the Grand Palace and the City Pillar Shrine on the historic Radhanakosin Island. Explore and sample the wares in the Ch Ch Chaduchak Weekend Market. Find a place to drink, hail a tuk-tuk, and find a place to crash afterwards. Filled with local knowledge, this guide will help you get the most out of your visit. Sounds like a nice vacation spot. Oh no. Uh, I said Tibet earlier. I meant Na wait, Nepal is in Tibet, isn't it? Ugh, I'm terrible at geography. I'll just shut up before I dig myself any deeper. <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay, that's a nice detail. You were up there a long time. Well, I was researching something. Oh, is that what we're calling it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, would you mind grabbing the food? I'm just wrapping up here. No, no, sure thing. Thanks. Aww. There we go. Wow. Romantic dinner. too long and full of typos, but that's what editors are for, right? God, I'm starving. Looks good. Mm-hmm. So, how was your day? What? Huh? You got none of that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How was your day? Oh, it was fine. Mm-hmm. Typical day in paradise. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I got to pull a bunch of garbage out of a river. Mm -hmm. Yes. At least you got to go for a swim. <laughs> Find any exciting garbage? No, oh, some brilliant stuff. It was a uh, early 21st century truck. Harley, <laughs> <laughs> the native. <laughs> oh dear lord! Yeah, some, 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 it, the boring stuff. Tell me about the article. Well, it started out as this fluff piece about tourism in Bangkok, but I don't think the magazine is going to like the angle that I'm taking because everyone immediately commented about how rude the smog was, that it was like shock to the lungs the second that you got off the plane. Like, ah! What? Where are you? I'm um, in... Here, he stabbed the fork. Oh, really? Uh, what? Just keep going. It was, it was interesting. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. What's my article about? What? This one? Uh -huh. <laughs> the lost city of Bangkok. <laughs> smog and how they, they can't uh, can't get a flight anywhere and people can't breathe. Wow. Right, I'm sorry. No, it was bound. <laughs> right? In a different state, but yeah, you were in a ballpark. They're adorable together. Jameson asked you about that Malaysia job again. Jameson always asked me about the Malaysia job. Look, Nate, I really think that you should take it. You know what? I don't want it. Really? I mean, he doesn't have the permits. And we agreed we're not going to take that kind of work anymore. It's okay, just not but, worth it. But it doesn't sound that risky. All right? If it's just a permit. No way. You could call Sullivan. You haven't seen him Elena, in like two years. Well, could we please drop this? Okay, I just don't want you to not take it because of me. I'm not taking it because of me, okay? Uncharted 4! A thief's end. Just... I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes. Stop, I'll do them. No, you on. did them last night. No, you cooked. I clean. It's fine. I mean, at least, at least, uh, let me, let me try to earn it or, or something. Let me uh, play you for it. You'll play me for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your little TV game thing. I bet I can beat your high score. You think that you can beat my high score on my TV game thing? Yeah, I think you're scared now. You don't even know what it's called. I don't need to know what it's <laughs> called. I've seen you play. It's right. jumping and running, and I have a natural talent oh, for that. Really? So, what do you say, chicken? Is it a bet? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, cowboy. Yeah, is that better, Flitchard? Oh, wow. They got a PS1. Okay. Watch and learn. Oh, my God. 
Is this where it's going where I think it's going? Is this it? No, it has to load. Load? Yes. This is taking a really long time. You have no patience. When you turn something on, you expect- It's Crash Bandicoot! Crash Bandicoot. Is there a problem? No? No, just, uh... How do you, uh... How do you make it go? <laughs> okay, so you want to run towards the camera. Run to the camera. Oh my Got god. It. And the circle button is your spin attack. <laughs> yeah, press X to jump. Right, which one's X? The right thumb. Nate Drake plays Crash Bandicoot, now on YouTube. Okay, run away from the boulder. Why is the boulder chasing me? Just run away from it. I did nothing to this <laughs> You're going the wrong way. Huh? Run towards the bottom. Well, I know, I just like to explore. Oh, this is brilliant. This is fucking brilliant. Nice. Right? What is that thing, a fox? A bandicoot. It looks like a fox. It's like a fox in jeans. Okay, smash the boxes. Why is a fox smashing crates? Bandicoot, and that's just it. what he does. It's a fox, and it's not very good. <laughs> well, these graphics are pretty good, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I am controlling this main fire. It's awesome. They're commenting on it all the time. Have you ever seen a bandicoot? Uh, no, but I'm sure they've ever seen it. Okay, grab the fruit. What does the fruit do? A hundred gives you an extra life. A hundred? Who's got time to make a hundred pieces of <laughs> Well, I'm actually pretty good at this, surprisingly. That was, that was not too bad. <laughs> oh, man. Is that it? You asked for it. Oh, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I, I wonder what would have happened if I'd beaten her score. Shot. Come on, double or nothing. My car could really use a good cleaning. Really? really? You're gonna start yeah. the smack talk There's now? There's this mode called easy mode. I just switch it. Wow. It's way easier on <laughs> Don't just keep talking. Keep talking. What are you gonna do? I'm, I'm warning What are you gonna do? I'm warning In real life, what hey, can you do? I'm Show me. What can you I'm do in real life? What do you think about that? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Hey, are you happy? Yeah, of course. You? Um. Um? <laughs> really? Come here. Wow, 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 wow. Ah, that was brilliant. Not open yet. Nate Drake, Desktop Adventures. We're closed. Come on, man. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. Asshole. <sighs> no spoilers, Fletchard. Yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm uh, looking for my little brother. Fucking told you he wasn't dead. It's about your height. A little bit leaner. Definitely less gray in the temples. Sam? It's good to see you again, Nathan. God, Sam! Oh, all right, all right, all right. Take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> How? How? I thought you... I saw you get shot. Yes, you did. Right there. Huh? Jesus. <laughs> well, the doctors, they... I mean, doctors, they patched me up and they... tossed me right back into the cell. But I, I made calls. I, I checked everywhere. I, everything I heard, everything I found, it, it all confirmed you were dead. Well, Nathan, we killed a guard. Okay, so they wanted to see me rot in that cell for the rest of my life, and I nearly did. He's a Sam. I, man, if I had known, I, I, I swear to you, I would have come back. Come back. I know, Nathan. I know. What's important now, though, is that I'm out. 
Hey, hey. You still with me? Yeah. Need some air. <laughs> You're not gonna pass out on me or nothing, I, are you? I just might. It's a lot to digest, you know? But how, how did you get out? When did you get out? How, how'd you even get here, find me? All right, right, right. Slow down. Have a seat. I want to hear about you. Huh? Me? Yeah. What's to tell? Well, call some of your old contacts. Tell me some pretty crazy ass stories. Oh, geez, what crazy stories? Got shot. Hanging from a derailed train in the Himalayas? Yeah, that, uh... <laughs> that actually happened. Come on, man, what did I miss? Jeez, Sam, where do I start? Start with the best part. Okay, um... Uh, do you remember the theory that we had that Sir Francis Drake faked his own death? Yeah, sure. Okay, he did. I found the coffin. The coast of Panama? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now get this. Okay, I open it up, right? right? And there's no body. But the bottom is his old journal. Are you shitting me? I mean, what can I say? Another lost city destroyed, and uh, we made it out alive. Barely. <sighs> Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I wish you could have been there. No, it, it's literally unbelievable. You, you tell me you stumble upon yet another archaeological <laughs> gold mine, and somehow you manage to walk away with nothing. Yeah, well, it's a story of my life, I guess. But, you know, I managed to grab a few trinkets here and there. Mm. Paid off the car, the house, the engagement ring. The... Engagement ring? I'm married. I can't believe uh, Elena from the stories. That's my wife. You gotta come meet her tonight. Dinner at my place. You're coming to dinner. I can tell her all about you. Shit, I gotta tell her all about you, Nathan. I'm in a lot of trouble here. What? What are you talking about? What kind of trouble? Is the name Hector Alcazar ring a bell with you? Yeah, he's the, the drug lord. Mm -hmm. Butcher of Panama, right? Why? It's a funny story, but... Uh, last year, he was my cellmate. So this is how I got out of prison. Read the night. Samuel, come here. Listen. The guards, they're singing. Eh, well, they're probably drunk. Perhaps. But they are content. How can they be content with their small lives? Their miserable jobs? <laughs> I mean... They have wives to go home to. What do we got? Huh? No offense. We have ambition. Oh. And when we get out of here, that ambition will take us to places these idiots cannot even imagine. Yeah, well, amen to your optimism. <laughs> what will you do when you get out, Samuel? <laughs> That's if I get out of here. I'm sure you can imagine. I can, but I want to hear you say it. I will find the greatest pirate treasure of all time, which I am sure you are sick of hearing about by now. Oh, no. The tale of Henry Avery and his 400 million in jewels and gold has become a sweet lullaby for me. Do you really think you can find it? Given the opportunity? Absolutely. <laughs> Ambition. What is that Avery quote? <laughs> I 
I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. I like how he thinks. What the hell was that? This game sure has some long ass cutscenes. Señor Alcázar, un gusto verlo. Segment the key. Oh. ¿Qué hacemos con él? Samuel, are you ready to seek your fortune? Yeah. Vámonos. Oh. Holy shit. Playing a Sam. Los demás están en posición. En camino. Todo va de acuerdo al plan. Fantastic. How long have you had this plan? Since the moment I set foot in this place. Samuel, keep up. We're going to have to move quickly. Holy shit. Yeah, getting a bit of a Metal Gear Solid 4 vibe uh, here. Which seems fitting considering this is also the fourth game in the series. Jesus, these men are sadistic. We're doing the world a favor, huh? But I suppose the game's You'll need this. still still getting started two hours in. <laughs> you remember how to use it. Yeah, it'll come back to me. Abran todas las puertas. Hector, you do that and you'll start a goddamn riot. <laughs> exactly. Háganlo. Stay close, Sammy. But this is where the fun begins. Reload. This is crazy. <laughs> You're going to need to burn our freedom. Nice lighting effects here. <laughs> I know I keep saying it, but wow, this game is a massive leap forward compared to the previous uh, games. take care of these guys up here. So I'm not gonna have much luck doing that when I'm out of ammo. Whoa. Hey. You mind? I was kind of busy there. Bang, bang. Okay, that was the last one. Yeah, I see. Let's not kill any more people than we need to. I mean, I'm supposed to be the good guy here. So now what? Estamos en posición. Están listos? Sí. Busquen dónde cubrirse. Samuel, get behind something. What? Why? Just do it. Things are gonna go boom. Whoa. You are right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Got it. Thank you. They got it. Just about to say, you wanted some of me. Almost, but not 
not quite. Just running up some ammo here, Hector. Samuel, take cover. Samuel, in a minute, we will either be free or dead. Are you ready? Oh, crap. Shit, you know that. And he's getting into a better position. Where are they at? Okay, this was a bad idea. <laughs> bad idea for that guy to hide exactly there. When I was just around the corner. Another bomb. Sweet time. Let's go. Suckers. Agua. Here, Samuel, drink. Oh no, no, I'm good. I'm better than good, actually. <laughs> you, you're dehydrated. Go on, drink. Thank you. So, what's next for Samuel Drake? Huh? <clears throat> Jesus, what is next? Uh, I'm gonna take a bath. I'm gonna sleep on a real bed. I'm gonna find a nice warm body to sleep next to me. Uh, track my brother down. Seems like a pretty good start. Uh, it is. So, uh, how long? Do you think it will take for you to retrieve Avery's treasure? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, uh, I get back to the States, I can resume my search. How long? It's kind of hard to say until I get started. You said you know where it is. Yeah, uh, I do, okay? But listen, it's, it, it's not like Avery left some map with a big red X on it, okay? But I've, I've, I've got some very solid X never marks the spots. Oh, okay. J just, just wait a minute. Take, take, take. Hey, take it easy. I like you, Samuel. More importantly, I believed you. 
That is why you are here. I can, I can get it, okay? I, I just need some time. Tell me, Uncle Gio. You see, the problem is... I'm having all these doubts into my mind. Hector, listen to me. I will find it. I swear to you. How long? Six months. <laughs> People are lazy. They always ask for more time than they actually need. for need. Scotty. Three months. Three months is a bad. Three months. Half the treasure. Can you do it? Say it. Three months. Half the treasure. Now, if you run and try to hide the treasure, or do something really stupid like go to the authorities, Oh no. And when you least expect it, I will be there. At that point, death is not a mercy I will grant you. What a nice guy. Here. Come on. Now, the nearest town is 10 kilometers in that direction towards the sunrise. It's been a while since we've seen the sunrise outside, huh? Vamos. When I find it... Then what? Don't worry. When the time comes, I'll be there to collect. When I swear this, Samuel. <sighs> Fucking Wi-Fi. Not like we needed it anyway. Alcazar lets me go, and here we are. This is bad. We just pick up the trail where we left off, and... Wait, trail? Sam, there's no trail. After Rafe and I escaped, he took his parents' fortune and bought up all the land around St. Dismas Cathedral. We combed that place for weeks. Avery's treasure isn't there. Not that that stopped Rafe. Moron's been digging for years, still hasn't turned up squat. Not really surprised. What does that mean? Well, I just, you know, happened to do a little digging of my own. And, uh, I bet your Rafe doesn't have this. It's really amazing what you can find on the internet these days. It's just the St. Dismas Cross. Oh, is it? Because the one we found was broken and hollow, remember? Holy crap, it's still intact. Avery made more than one cross. So whatever's missing from the one in Panama... ...is probably still inside this one. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. Well, where is this? Oh, this exquisite piece is going up for auction in three days at the Rossi Estate. The Rossi estate. Well, you know it. Uh, yeah. And how do you plan on securing an invite to an exclusive, heavily guarded black market auction? Well, you don't necessarily need an invitation, per uh, se. Huh? Yeah. And where are you gonna get the money to outbid all the high rollers? I could take a second mortgage out on my house, and it still wouldn't be enough to... Yeah, you're gonna try and steal it, huh? No. We are. Oh, no. No, man, listen, I'm, I can't. I'm, I'm out. What? No, I, I, I just don't do that kind of thing anymore. Besides, there, there are plenty of other guys that are much more equipped to handle this kind of thing. Like who? Uh, I don't know, like, uh... Jeez. Anybody, uh, Charlie Cutter. No. No, he's my no, go-to no, guy no, for this sort of thing. No, absolutely not. I don't trust Charlie or anybody else that you've got on that phone with my oh, life. Oh, I like okay. Charlie. I need you on this one. I was hoping he'd be in this one, too. Oh, Sam, there's got to be another way. Not with the time I got left. Certainly not with Alcazar.
Hey, hon, it's me. Hey. Yeah, uh, listen, you're not gonna believe this. What? Jameson just walked in here with the permits. Wow, that's, that's great. Yeah. Dude, I know, I know, but, uh, it's like I'm gonna take that Malaysia job after all. Nate, what are you doing? See anything yet? Just a bunch of high-class, low-life criminals all cleaned up for prom. <laughs> and no sign from Sullivan yet. Well, there's still plenty of time. It looks like the storage room's in the building behind the manor. You see it from up there? Just the very top of it. Oh, I wonder what they got tucked away in there. Let's just focus on Avery's cross, okay? No, you sure you don't want to pick up something for the wife? It's cute. Let's keep it simple. Right. Simple. <laughs> It'd be a whole lot simpler if it was just the two of us. Sam. We could be inside already. Not cleanly. Have you even thought about a backup plan in case uh, Sullivan gets cold feet? No, because he won't. Or if he got caught? <sighs> Sam. He knows the people running the auction. He's gonna schmooze his way right through that party, get upstairs, unlock the window, and we're in. It's a solid plan. Uh-huh. All right, fine. Good, say it. What if he stole the cross for himself? Not in a million years. Victor Sullivan. Same Victor we're talking about, right? Yes, he's double-crossed people in the past, but not us. No, not you. I know you two have never seen eye to eye. Huge understanding. But I trust him, all right? He's family. And... No, no, no. I just need you to trust him, too. Fine. Fine. He'll come through for us. Eventually. But I mean, come on, you have to at least just for one second consider the possibility. There. See? Trust. Try to keep your tux clean. Thanks. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da -da. Once a thief. Dot dot dot. <sighs> I can't believe I'm out. I can't believe I'm here. You mean with you in Italy, huh? <laughs> yeah, me either. Just wish the circumstances were less tense, you know? Uh, well, you know, the sights are a bit more enjoyable that way. Oh! Uh, so this, this isn't your first time here? No, it's more like, uh, third? Had a couple of odd jobs. With Sullivan. Well, yeah. Okay. Just keeping an eye out for goodies. View. Nice everything. Man, there's no way up under that bridge. Oh, really? Well, there's that exposed beam underneath. Oh, you think you can rope it? Do I think I can rope it? <laughs> Watch this. I'm watching. <laughs> See, it's uh, it's all in the wrist. Here, let me see. <laughs> see? Yeah, it's not bad. First, second attempt. Here we go. <sighs> He's a bit out of practice. <laughs> uh, where am I swinging towards? Yeah, that looks like a climbable wall. You see that? Oh, like a pro. It's your turn. <laughs> Okay, so where to next? Hey, bet we can swing off that beam up there. Uh, definitely. 
He's got the rope. He's got the rope. Better not miss this time. Hey, let's switch places. All right, climb over me. I've, I've got a good grip. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. you didn't miss much, Fletcher. <laughs> First try. All right, no one likes a show-off. Okay, come on, Nathan. It looks like you can uh, climb down and make your oh. way over. Right behind you. Now he tells me. Security. Hey, es commesso sulla partita. Inghilterra vincente. Inghilterra, traditore. Hey, non confondere l'orgoglio nazionale con la realtà. Okay, we're good. Jesus, did you see him? That Renna thug was packing some serious heat. Shut up our guns. Sam, we're gonna pull this off so smoothly we won't need them. I hope you're right. Lemons. <sighs> All those years. It's the little things that you miss the most. Ooh, I see something shiny. Nephrite brass cup. Interesting. Like what? The smell of fresh citrus. <laughs> uh, riding the motorcycle. It's little things, but they add up. Guess we to go down then. Rope again. That should hold. Rope a dope. <laughs> Wee. All right, come on down. Is he coming? Whoa. <coughs> Landing's a little more painful than I remember. <clears throat> yeah, tell me about it. So, uh, your other wonderful finds. Uh, the ones I missed. Did you at least take any pictures? I wish. Elena filmed some of it, but camera didn't make it. That's too bad. I have some drawings, though. When we get back, I'll show you. You have drawings? What, are they up on the <laughs> fridge or something? <laughs> no, I, they're good drawings. Right. Can't wait. Um, how do we move on? We don't have another rope, do we? I don't see anything to climb here. <laughs> no. Can't climb up on the creeper. Sam, a little help. There's something crumbling up there. Is that supposed to be a clue? Anything down here? Big gap down there that seems climbable. I hope I'm right about this. No, 
it doesn't look like I should drop myself down here. Shit. Ho, 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 ho. Well, no harm in trying, I guess. I can't see any other way out. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. So, uh, your other wonderful finds. The ones I missed. Do you at least take any pictures? Oh, I was just supposed to go up here. Durr. Up against the wall. Ah, this looks promising. I think you mean precarious. It's always precarious. But what choice do we have? Shit! You okay up there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Why exactly are these things here? What purpose do they serve other than to allow us to climb in here? Yeah, well. That's just convenience. Let's see anything down here? It'd suck if you missed right now. Sure would. <laughs> but I don't miss. Oh, you got the rope. Okay, gotta wait for my turn. Vacation spot for the Prince of Persia. Ah, I wish they'd make a new Prince of Persia game sometime. One that didn't suck. Random training climbing Nathan. stuff. Oh, I see. Nathan? Nathan? What? million bucks. Let's go. All right, I'm right behind you. Sully? You know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? <laughs> <Nobody knows. laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed that old bastard. Too long, boy. Ah. You remember my dead brother, right? Victor? Be goddamn. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah. Uh, about that. What? What about that? Come on. Let me show you something. It's complicated, isn't it? Take a look. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to Shit. make that happen. All right, well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. There's got to be something. Well, the guards see us <laughs> making for that cross. But they don't see us. Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for the lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? There's ventilation. Electrical. That's it up here. 
So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. And that'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. Except there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signore. <clears throat> Antipasti? Mosse. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Ciao. Would you focus? The waiter wouldn't get noticed. Hey, can't say no to free snacks. Good work. That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room and kill the power. You mean I'm the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. What? You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right, follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. I gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to you. Thanks. I chuck it up and go on vegan. Scusi? Really? <laughs> oh, I can't grab a snack. Come on. What are you doing? I'm just going over our exit strategy. It's gonna get hairy. <laughs> Look, relax. We pulled up tougher heists than this. Yeah, I know, I know. I just. Try not to imagine what they'll do if they catch us. Shiny. Sam, if things go bad, we'll be dead long before they catch us. That's a comforting point. Yeah. Uh, what was that thing I just picked up? Mother of Pearl Horn. Nice. Looks like a snail's house. Where'd Sully go off to? Oh, right there. Excuse me. Cellar's just through there. Let's go. This place is fancy. Of course they play douchey Europeans. <laughs> the music sounds kind of familiar. Is that supposed to be a reference to something? Mind us being inconspicuous. You see that? Key card, back left pocket. Yep. I'm on it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You sure you want to do that? There's a lot of eyes out here. I think I can handle a simple lift. All right. Watch me completely screw this up. Gotta keep staring at his ass long enough. <laughs> and he doubted me. Pleasure to watch professionals at <laughs> work. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. We'll still need these. Great. Be in touch. What the hell is up with Sully's ear? That does not look natural.
Hands in the air. Oh, Sully. Always Hi, away with the ladies. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. I feel so out of place here. I can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker. Even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Classy as ever. Date? You catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Nadine Ross? Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. You ready? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Let's this is it. so going south. Yeah, find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. And lure one out of the kitchen, probably. Then let's go find the kitchen. Man, there's enough food down here to feed a small town. That means we don't have to be in there. The hell is this? This game wasn't on the blueprint. Of course it wasn't. Locked, of course. Okay, plan B. Get inside a vent. Or we could... Try this thing. There you go. I see some fence up there. Nathan, go check this out. What? There we go. Let there be light. <laughs> it's about electrical in this joint. Don't suppose you brought a... F yeah, that'll do. I guess it's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Unless you need to run. Oof. Man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Now, oh, good thing Sully's driving. <laughs> He was just getting a drink, too. Maybe the vent access is behind these casks. That's a lot of really rare vintage. Yeah, maybe Alcazar can just settle for some good wine. <laughs> that's something tells me that's not gonna fly. Uh... We gotta move something? Yeah, that thing, probably. Victor's chatting up Nadine Ross. I mean, I've heard some pretty scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about Sully. I can talk his way out of anything. Okay, I get it. <laughs> Who builds a goddamn wine cellar like a maze? Uh, this way. Need to give me a hand or anything. I'm holding the lighter. <laughs> holding the lighter. Yeah, you're doing a great job there. Uh, where are we going? Why 
I say I'm just standing there? I'll ride the vent. How's that? Okay, up we go. Right there. That's smaller than it looked, huh? <laughs> and a lot more dusty. Let's hope there's no head crabs in here. Shh, shh, shh. Cosa portiamo a quell'odioso miliardario tedesco? Quello con il parrucchino e quella roba sul naso. Creeping along. Uh oh. Fresh air, here we come. Hey, check this out. See that building with the radio tower? You mean the cell tower? The what? Whatever. Listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. Ah, give him a boost up there, obviously. Sam, up here. I'll boost All you right. up. All right. Good thing you kept in shape. One of them had to, I guess. There you go. Well. I reckon Drake has to be in shape for diving too. Sully, we just got out of the wine cellar, heading to the power room now. How's it looking? Sully? You there? Uh oh. It must be a bad spot for a signal. Hopefully he's doing okay. Or he got himself caught. Found the kitchen. And of course it's locked. Sam, look. Maybe we can use that and find a window. Drop into the kitchen. That's a good idea. I'll boost you up and you take care of the ladder. Let's do this. Got it? Uh oh. Heads up, heads up. We found us a waiter. Buonasera. Ma che sta facendo? Night night. Easy on the civilians, Sam. What? So he wakes up with a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. All right. Okay, let's get to the power room. Sam, you good? Yeah, these pants are just a little bit too tight. Yeah, well, that's the style <laughs> these days. Really? No, oh, we're in Rome. Nah, because we're in Rome. <laughs> I'm going to head back to the ballroom. Not at all. Sam, you there? Sam? Sully? Great. Guess we're on our own. Well, just gotta deal with it. Ah, how 
convenient. Guys, if you can hear me, I'm just about at the power room. Should Ish. be there soon. Ish. Um, where to next? Up here? No. Roof. Nope, that's not climbable. This might be? No. Down? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Not exactly how they intended me to do that. One bit at a time. Um, ain't I back right where I started? Oopsie. Uh, well, I need to get over there. Yeah, this looks like the way. Just got a little sidetracked. Convenient poles are convenient. And I missed! Oops! Oh, puts me right back here. Also convenient. Uh, over there. Shwing! Oh, <laughs> Ah, oh shit! <laughs> I can't believe you got away with that. Oh, we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots <laughs> on board. <laughs> Fascinating story. I recognize someone? No. I thought I did, but no. But when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours? Drake? Well, that's ex-partner. Yeah, I've been flying solo for a while now. Drake's out. Oh, like dead out? Oh no, more like retired. Mm. Last I heard, he settled down, got married. Mm. Well, then he might as well be dead, right? <laughs> what a coincidence, Rafe. Victor Sullivan. How the hell are you, Rafe? How long has it been? Ten years? Twelve? Fifteen? <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by, here we are, we're still haggling over dead people's junk. <laughs> really? Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. Oh, <laughs> that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the block tonight. Well, sure. But what would be the point in that? And these days I'm only looking for the good stuff. Big score. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah, I think I want a bit against him. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. Hmm. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Ah. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? We've partnered up on this one. I see. <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item. An inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel. You two kids have fun tonight. Just hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? 
It. What it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody mares. Cut the bullshit, old man. Now, I don't know how you scam your way in here, but if you think about bidding on Avery's Cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be leaving in a goddamn Rafe. Fight. Lovely seeing you both. Nate. Nate. God damn it, kid. Where the hell are you? Hanging on for dear life. Okay. Power room. I can do this. Nice catch. God, why did I pick the power room? Wouldn't be any fun otherwise. Can I make that? Let's find out. Yeah, no problem. No prob, Bob. Do next. Oh, over there. Okay, I got it. Just scoping things out. Yeah. We got this. For now. I think it's safe to say we've reached the power room. Ecco fatto. Oh, speriamo di non dover cambiare altri fusibili del cazzo stasera. Direi che per stasera può bastare. Ma che diavolo? Pronto. We just crawl through that. How do we get down? Through here? No, clearly not. Oh, through here, duh. Easy. Now let's Here cut that go. power. Now, where the hell are the circuit breakers? Ah, oh, crap. Sam, Sully, you there? God damn it, kid! Where the hell have you been? I made it. Had a few close calls, but yeah. Well, if you're gonna cut the power now, would be a good time. Right, well, I'm gonna need a minute before I can reach the panel. Don't have a minute. Rafe's about to walk out of here with your cross. Wait, what? Rafe? Rafe is here? Yes, Rafe is here. And as I'm right now, he has the highest bid. Well, I'll bid him. With what? I don't have that kind of scratch. Sully, we're stealing it, remember? What if he calls my bluff? He won't. We have 90,000. Do I hear any more bids? Guys, if we do not get this cross, I am as good as dead. Yeah. Well, I end up with the highest bid. We're all dead. Sully, I need you to buy me more time. Trust me. Going once, going twice. Oh, screw it. Then we have 100,000 euros in the room. Thank you. Do we have any other bids? We now have 110,000 euros in the room. For a penny and for a pound. That bid brings Don't us worry. to 120. We'll be out of there in no time. I better be. Okay. Just gotta smash the lock. Now the bid has reached 130,000. <laughs> How long can he keep that up? We are now at Nothing. Don't suppose I should wait to find out. Your bid, Signore, takes us 
Come on. <laughs> hey man, uh, starting to sweat bullets here. Yeah, give me a sec. One hundred sixty thousand euros in the room. Yes. Signore's bid makes one hundred seventy thousand. Hammer time. We are now at one hundred eighty thousand euros in the room. <laughs> gotcha. And goodbye, power. All right, boys, I'm at the switch. You ready? As I'll ever be, Victor. Just a sec. <laughs> 200,000 euros. 500,000. Let's get the show on the road here. Uh, thank you. We have 500,000 euros in the room. Does the gentleman wish to bid again? <laughs> Had me worried there for a minute, Victor. Thought I might have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's ruin this asshole's evening. Anyone else? We are going once. Going twice. Then I shall sell it for 500,000. Hey, we'll turn off the lights. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. The back of power will come on shortly. Yep, but the cross won't be come back. Ah, oh boy. Move it! Get out of the way! Stop him! Hey, stop that guy! Fermo! What are you doing? You're letting him get away! You speak Spanish. What? Get away. getaway. Sam, tell me you got the cross. You got St. Dismas right here. You want to say hi? Yeah, we really kicked the hornet's nest down here. Ballroom's locked down, security scrambling. Victor, where's our getaway? Come to the driveway out front. Just follow the spotlights. I'll bring the car around. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it here uh, for tonight, folks. I'm definitely digging this game so far. <laughs> but we'll see how things unfold next time, which will be on Friday. Th so join me again then for the next exciting chapter of Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. I've been Amir Dakago, and I thank you for watching, as always. And hope you'll join me again next time. If you haven't done so already, check out the links below. You can check out my YouTube channel where I do reviews and all that. My other YouTube channel where I archive all of my Twitch streams. You can follow me on Twitter or Tumblr, get in touch with me. Always like to meet new folks. You can send me a little contribution through PayPal or Patreon if you're so inclined. But as always, thanks for watching. Have a good night. Uh, Friday, same uh, time as uh, same time as tonight. You know, three hours ago. That's eight o'clock for me. So always uh, tend to stream around that time. Yeah, thanks for being here, Mainfire, Fletcher. See you then. Good night.